Hello, I'm Max Balegde. And I'm George Clark. <gasps> However, I'm not. I'm actually just Andrew. Hi, oh, guys. Oh, <laughs> surprise. Sorry Andrew's to disappoint here. you. And this is the Useless Hotline. I'll try and do all parts of the intro. Yeah, today. I, yeah, um, I don't right. watch the podcast. Are you ready? Oh, thank you. TikTok wasn't working out for us, so we decided to set up our own little business. Uh, that's right, George. And the Useless Hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, disgusting, or embarrassing they are. But it won't always just be us, will it, Max? Um, because sometimes we might have a, a little guest, uh, but we don't this week. We don't. So just it's me. just us. Sorry Indeed. to disappoint. I'm sure this is the most disappointing thing to click on to. Oh, isn't it? don't be silly, love. love. I'd click on you any day. Oh, you do every night. I do indeed. Um, yeah, <laughs> elephant in the room, Andrew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, George is not here. He's not. Where is he? Um, we had a huge falling out mm. um, that, of course, resulted in a physical and sexual altercation oh, and that, sexual. that um, left him bedbound in many ways. Mm-hmm. Um, so unfortunately, he's, he's... He's on crutches. Yeah, right he's now, on crutches actually, for yeah. the foreseeable future. Yeah. No, he's on holiday with his pals. I think he's away with Chris, Arthur and Arthur. The gang. The, the gang, the good old footy squad. I bet we that love they're... Them. Straight I bet, lads. I bet they're cracking some beers, cracking some jokes. Going cracking down some, to the strip club. Yeah. Cracking s- some puss. Strippers. Oh, yeah. Cracking some puss. Yeah, don't that's know. just what straight guys do, <laughs> that, isn't is it? Is that what they do? I don't know. I think so. Um, and yeah, so instead, we've got Andrew here. Just me. I was going to try to get an important guest, somebody that, you know, people might care about and might, you know, want to click on the episode to watch. But instead... I would say I'm requested quite a lot, actually. You are, you are. Do you know the what? people want me. Yeah, they I do. I say that this is going to be the least viewed episode no <laughs> it's not don't be silly it probably will be no i'm joking it won't be no people love it when you're on i hope so we could, but what could the title be the title already could be like max and andrew break up discuss on cheating allegations discuss yes max and andrew finally address that sex moment or something like that <laughs> you've discussed that sex moment on here many times have i Oh God, probably. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, um, before we get into this fun podcast episode, I thought that we would firstly just address the whole I'm Alex situation. Um, you've probably seen it all over the internet, and if you've not, then fair enough. But basically, he was on our podcast, so I wanted to kind of address it from a point of view of saying that everybody involved in the useless hotline completely disagrees with his behaviours, um and he was on our podcast a very long time ago before george even lived with him um and none of us knew the extent to how bizarre or you know offensive his behaviors were i'm not going to speak for george because he is not here um but speaking for myself i had a very bizarre interaction with him one time when i filmed a, a youtube video with him for his youtube channel that really just put me off. I saw a lot of strange, intense, narcissistic behaviors and that was it for me. Um, And, you know, obviously George doesn't live with him anymore um, and we'll let him speak on that. But I mean, you you know George, George is a lovely person. Um, So yeah, he also doesn't stand for those sorts of behaviors. Um, And yeah, we just kind of want to address it in a way of saying, we have nothing to do with that. We had no idea about the abuse within his relationship and um, we're glad that she felt as though she was able to come out and say it and just send her some love. Absolutely. If, it's a very brave thing there. to do. It must be hard to exactly. publicly speak about something like that. So. Exactly. So Respect. kudos to her and let's just let's leave that in the on. past sh- then, shall we? Sorted. Right, hey. Andrew. <laughs> We are here. How are you feeling to be on the podcast? I'm feeling good. Yeah, Max actually nearly just crashed the car, didn't you? Oh my God, I did. On the way here. here. I said, uh, can you direct us without maps? He said, yes, I can. (laughs) And he was doing a very good job. And then you I mean, I got us here. It was just... Yeah, just right around the corner. There's one junction. Yeah, that's a little bit crazy. And I I, I always don't like it. Um, Can you imagine if that was the end? Just of a... Fucking hell. Oh, (laughs) yeah. Oh, I'm glad you're here. like to keep it light. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Right. Do you want to talk about any anybody else want to die or? <laughs> <laughs> Me every day. Oh, bless. Um, well, firstly, I mean, 
this is your first time seeing our season two set. How are you it's, feeling? It's beautiful. I feel very cozy, very intimate with you. Oh, it's um, it's got a warmer vibe. I think mm. the last one was slightly more sterile. This is kind yeah. of like a lot of the comments said that they they prefer this one, and I, I'm glad that you do. Nice. I'm glad that you Put do. Evie on the desk. I know we've we've been able to personalise it a little bit more. We've got what some still. Got? Some glasses that what's people this, made us what's on, this tally on tour. that George has here. I don't know. That, that was the number tour. of girls that have rejected him. Or... Yes, <laughs> exactly. That was from tour. That was during the Mastermind show. He would tally them up oh. as we were going. And then oh, it's down that's down. a it's, relic. It's, Look yeah, at that. I have to take that home with me. Oh my God. You're coming on with me. Um, speaking of tour, you came on tour with us. I did. You I did? was. I was Velma. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. That was the only takeaway I got from tour was the moment that I was on stage. But um, <laughs> yeah, it was. You get. You did amazing. It was brilliant. Oh. Thank you. I joined Max for what was it? The, the like the second half. The second half. week, yeah. yeah, the second half. And um, it was brilliant. I it was you did so an amazing much fun. job. I have the utmost respect for both of you because I would not be able to to do that own an audience like that. I mean, you're doing yourself a disservice because you came up on stage at some points and Nipples you were giving it giving it yippa yappa, get making the crowd go wild. So do you think so? Yeah, they were loving it. Yeah. It was uh yeah it was good fun it was good life experience I which think which was your favorite um city that we went to oh obviously you I, only came to I'm the biased. later half of the I am tour. from London so I feel like London the last show was like amazing it was the crowd incredible was wild. it was incredible other than where that, did you actually get to go I went to Birmingham Birmingham Manchester no I didn't go to Manchester Leeds I went to Leeds Bristol Birmingham yeah London. Yeah. Did you go yeah, to that's... the first London as well? No. Yes. Oh, yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did two Londons. Um, I would say Leeds was pretty good. I feel like that was... Yeah. Uh, and it was like a cool venue as well. We had a fun it? time in Leeds. Yeah, it was good fun. We went out after, yeah. didn't we? we? Did a bit of karaoke. <laughs> went to... What's it called? Viaduct. Viaduct, yeah. our local watering hole. <laughs> Whenever we're in Leeds. Yeah. Um, but it was good. Did it was, you? Yeah, it was um, good fun. Why... Who came up with... Oh. oh wow! It's wow. already happened. I'm sorry, everybody. I apologise. Yeah, I deeply apologise. Um, whose idea was it to do the Velma? But for those who don't know, was it your idea? Yeah. So I told Maisie. Wait, Max, explain what happened. All oh, right, okay. So like I came on. I thought everyone would know. No. I came <laughs> on stage. Uh, I surprised Max on the last show dressed as Velma Dinkley because <laughs> weirdly, my boyfriend just has a Velma costume just sitting under the bed. I don't think that's times. weird. I it's think not. that that's quite normal. He went to an you went to who was it? Olivia Rodrigo concert yeah. dressed as Velma. Yeah. Were you goth Velma then? I was emo, emo Velma, Velma. Actually, sorry. please. I apologize There's a big the distinction between the two. Please do not <laughs> offend. Okay. Um. But yeah, no. He had he had the wig and the skirt ready to go. So I thought. Mm. I think it was the, the morning of. I said. I said to myself, I was like, this will be a brilliant idea if I come on because I was supposed to come on and do a dilemma. And I thought if I just come on stage, surprise you with that on you'll get like a proper genuine raw reaction. Mm. Um, and yeah, I told Maisie and I told Callum beforehand, but no one else knew. So it was very, a very tight secret that I, I kept. <laughs> both me and George looked at you and then looked at each other. And got an erection. No. Oh no, okay. We were like, what the hell is happening you right now? You literally ran away, both of you. Yeah. You ran to the other side oh, of the Oh, you stage. did? Yeah, but it I kind of blacked so out. I was so nervous. Well, I'd, I'd accidentally drank far too much as well. That's not an accident. No, what? I, I didn't expect it to happen, but I got absolutely twatted. Yeah. And so then I was like, I can't even see right now. Luckily, she had oh. a pair of glasses that I was wearing. So yeah. The vision. You but, found um, your glasses. I did. But yeah, then, yeah, I ended up on all fours on stage. It was a lot. Did you? Yeah, when I dropped my glasses, remember? Oh, no, not really. I think I blacked it out. That's it was a bit traumatic. <laughs> I think Max is the one that prompted you about that. I yeah. think, did I? On yeah, stage, you did. Yeah. And oh. then I, I dropped them on the floor and then I was going like, I can't find my glasses. <laughs> Um, it was good fun. It, it was, was good, good fun. fun. We had a great time. We oh, did. I'm glad that you came. I'm glad that you got to experience it. And guys, I hope that you all love our tour vlogs, by the way. Yeah, we're loving the I tour vlogs. I loved watching them. They literally gave me so much joy watching them back. I was They're like, like a little time capsule. It They're is. Lovely. It is. I was like, even if nobody else watches them, we will have these forever. Absolutely. So cute. Um, another development that's happening in our lives. We I, are... Uh, you talk about the dog? Yes. Yeah, so, right, context, we have dog sat mm -hmm. for two days and we've mm -hmm. decided now that we're going to get a dog. <laughs> well, like, it's that, not that. as simple as that. <laughs> we had had conversations about it, like, quite a few times before, but Andrew has never had a pet, not even a little moose. A, a little a, goldfish. A nothing. goldfish. A lizard. A nothing. So, I <laughs> My was dad, like, wait, sorry, can I just interject? My dad, when I was a kid, said... 
We can't have a dog. We can't have a cat. But we could have a snake. That was Ooh. our only option. Because I think Ooh. I think he had a snake growing up. He had a dog as well. People um, who have snakes. No psychopaths. Honestly, why would you want a pet that is going to want to eat you? Why yeah, do they you? Can, they unhinge their jaw and they can just completely. Well, I imagine the size of the one we. Well, get I can would, do that. That's not even that you, special. You, you um, can do that very well. But honestly, <laughs> people who get a snake, I just think you're gonna die. You've got something wrong with you, and yeah. you deserve it. Honestly, I swear to God, my sister's friend once had a snake. And it kept coming out of its enclosure thing and sitting next to her on the couch. So she took it to the vets. Ooh. And then they were like, oh, do you not realize Wait, what it's doing? can they just wriggle out? Are they not in an enclosed situation? Yeah, but hers was just like... An I'd, open top? Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, and it would sit next to her on the couch and just look at her. So she took it to the vets because she was like, this is a very new and confusing behavior. Why does it keep doing this? Mm. The vet said that it was sizing her up to see if it could eat her. I've heard of this. You do that to me. Get fucked though. <laughs> why, why would you no, want, that's why do you want, why, I, what, what are you doing? What are you playing at? Who wants that in a pet? I feel like pet? some of them, to play devil's advocate, some of them are quite cool patterns. Like I kind of like the vibe. They're no, quite interesting I don't care. I just watch Harry Potter and I feel like I can speak parcel tongue. No, so. you can't. Um, no. I don't, I don't care. I, I honestly, snakes are probably my biggest fear. Do you think I, so? I, if you're an possibly. I'm a celeb, what would, would you be with a snake in a, no, you wouldn't I be, would that would be your last thing you'd I have. would say that my biggest fear is rats. Because I don't really care about a little rodent. Oh, give over. Are you joking me? The rat, I, fat rat tail? Compared to a spider, a snake, all of that alligator, get that out my face. Honestly, mm. not for me. Spiders, I think, are the worst. I just can't cope with any of them. Yeah, they're all kind of hellish. Oh, we're getting ants back in our house. Wait, we didn't even mention the dog. We've completely sidetracked. Oh, Is yeah, we have. We're trying to get? I don't know. I think you brought up snakes and then I went on a snake right, tangent. the dog. Yeah, so we, we looked after this dog. And um, my sister's his dog. sister's dog, yeah. Ziggy, and he's absolutely well. We love him. Well, Ziggy's a little bitch usually. Can, yeah, well, he's not actually a little a, bitch. A boy, Ziggy's just an annoying dog uh, uh, because he has his ways. Because let me explain this. And if Ellie, if you're listening, she's not. But um, I'm dissing your dog. <laughs> Basically, Ellie and Becky got that dog during COVID, and it is so firmly attached to them that it's literally like whenever they leave it, it's Separation a nightmare, anxiety and it's turn. it's, it's whines, it's everything. Um, so now whenever somebody else is looking after it, he's a nightmare. But we got him when he'd already been at a dog hotel. First of all, dog hotels are a thing. Incredible. We went, it were mental. It was how much a night? Like it was like over a hundred pounds a over a hundred pound a night. They can yeah. have they can have they've got like um you can pay extra to have webcams in the rooms. Oh, yeah. So that so that you can spy on your well, like just make sure that they're okay. How crazy so if you're on is holiday, that? you just want to check in. How crazy. It's amazing. Expensive, but amazing. Oh yeah, we walked past this um like a, a a bunch of them and they were like glass just windows that showed rooms and it was like a little tiny room, not like the size that a, a human would have. But a, a, a sizable room with a little couch on it and just one cat in there, just looking out the window. Like, <laughs> this is my hotel room. What about it? <laughs> when me and Maisie went in, they had so many different, like, um, there was like a booklet of different, like, options that you can have. I said a butler for a second. I was like, do they get like a Probably. I mean, Probably, I, I yeah. wouldn't put it past them. Um, like, all the different options that you can have for the different rooms and all the different, like, walking things. Do you get to choose their food? How does that work? I think that you provide, oh, you provide the food because they'll be on like a certain yeah, diet. diet. Um, so you like provide it in advance and then they have it. But how sick is that? Dog it's hotels. Amazing. Good to know though. Need to get in that business. What, imagine how good your life would be if you owned a dog hotel. I don't think what I'm am quite I ready for at? that quite yet. No, we'll start we'll, with one. We'll start with one, yeah. but we can definitely work ours. Wait, isn't that a film? Wasn't Rainy Rodriguez in that film, Hotel for Dogs? Love, I'm I'm old. Uh, okay. I've not seen Rainy Rodriguez in any kind of Fiesta party, quinceañera, family. I when you when I first met you, that was like your tune. Oh, that is my you job. Play that when we'd have. Imagine meeting someone for the first time, and he's like, "Oh, can we have a little drink?" It was like kind of COVIDy time, so it was like, "Can we have a drink in the room?" He put his playlist on, and it's that. It's just Rainy shaking her titties. How old I is mean, she? Can I say what? shake it? How old is she? Yeah, she's older than us. Oh, she can shake her titties. Yeah, she's like in her thirties. Oh, I thank think. God. Okay. She's shaking the maracas. <laughs> She's slaying. Um, but yeah, the conclusion of us looking after a dog was that we now really want one. Yes. And we are going to assess the different like breeds and 
hopefully, we're doing our research yeah, yeah because we do want to make like a very informed decision but i mean ultimately whatever dog you get you're going to end up loving I mean? it the you're going to like yeah you're going to love it the same no matter what it ends up looking like we just want one that well, you grows say up that, to be cute oh. yeah i do yeah it needs to be cute that's, yeah i'm very shallow cavapoo yeah. Yeah, well, my, that's what my sisters is. They they get a Cavapoo. bit too big. They're great. They're great. No, we we don't. Want, no, ours is. We want we one want that you can small. literally pick up with one hand. Not like a handbag dog, but kind of. I Mine want a pretty like small one. That big. Oh really? You have one. My family does. Yeah, I grew oh. up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Is really it a cute. full Cavapoo or is it like a a, a toy like poodle? A toy. No, no, no. It's not a toy. It's a Cavapoo. Yeah, I'll show you. It can't be that. She's hella Cavapoo, Cavakit cat. Wait. No. Oh, my, oh, beautiful. Oh, can we show Aww. the uh, can we show the audience? Aww, yeah, yeah, yeah. So adorable. That's, so super, super That's the kind of colour that I would love as well. Yeah. I love that. You know, there's racism in the dog world. Mm? Really? Her brothers and sisters were black. Mm. They were cheaper than her. Really? They were hundred pounds cheaper. I mean, so I've that's seen. That's why Ellie got Ziggy cheapskate. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that with um, some poodle crosses because with the way that their eyes are people don't like them as much because you can't see the difference in you their eyes. If they've got features, darker hair, they kind of lose their features. So people right. deem them as like less attractive. Oh, that's Which sad. is quite mean, isn't it? Show some love yeah. to the black dogs. I want a red one. What? That's like, like the, an apricot. Basically, they as they apricot. get older, they... Um, Fit, the colour fades so it would be like ginger as it gets older have you ever seen like dark, they're not obviously bright uh, red brown right like yeah. a brownie like that's really ginger Poppy was more ginger when she was younger and she's gotten blonder yes right? that's yeah, what yeah, happens that, oh right yeah yeah, 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 yeah. the colour they, fades they fade, yeah. so they usually fade. if you were to get like a uh, a cream puppy it would be white as it got older yeah okay that makes whereas like and i, I could would say this i do not want a white dog That's no me neither i don't know why i don't i feel tight saying that well but... because everyone says the crusty white dog have you seen on tiktok everyone's like they've got a crusty white dog and it's like a cockapoo that's white yeah. and it's got like all the little straggly bits oh, there and like you know bless. you know when they have those little like stains around yeah. their mouth and they just look a bit fucked oh bless so i don't want that but i mean look whatever we have our dog's definitely gonna fade to white now isn't it I mean, I either way, we'll love it. I don't care. We'll love whatever. whatever it's not about it It's not up. about the cuteness. No. It's about giving a dog exactly. a home, a loving environment. Yeah, and I would love to we'll do be that. Good dog, dog I'll be dad. a dog sitter as well if you need. Oh, oh thank, thank you. Thank you. Please, thank please, you. Please, please, please. We'll yeah. take you up on that. Here's, here's us going away for two weeks. Callum. Yeah, done. done. <laughs> I've got a little garden at mine. It's perfect. We're over to Tenerife. Something else that we've got coming imminently this weekend. and. that? We're going to see Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Right, Andrew. Oh my God, right. Let me just sit no, up this, to this one. This is a big topic on our podcast because George Voice. He's a hater. He's a hater. He confirmed hater. And a lot of the comments in last week's episode were actually saying that they're genuinely in their heart disappointed in George. Really? Yeah. Because he... I'm not saying that George is a misogynist pig. I would never say that. Um, <laughs> it does go hand in of, hand. He's kind of sharing, you know, the viewpoints of someone that maybe was a misogynist pig would think of Taylor agree Swift. More, so, you know, I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. Um, no, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> I'm not. Um, and yeah, that's what that's what people were saying. Well, I used to be a Taylor Swift hater, didn't I? I said not this. active. I wasn't campaigning against her, but you kind when of were, we though. first met when I was in my straighter era if you can even imagine that existed i actively well yeah i mentally actively disliked her yeah i was but it was, the media, it was the media they completely controlled me corrupted mm -hmm. my brain mm -hmm. and i thought i just thought i don't know what i thought but i thought that she was just irritating i did not like her music and it's like some switch has gone off in my head now where i absolutely adore her i, I hear it differently the thing is people because she's so famous and so successful people interpret her as being like cutthroat and like evil and it's yeah. like you can't be that Kim level Kardashian? i think that thing like that will... threw it through a loop that certainly did snake gate the snake gate yeah. yeah um i fell for it i fell for kim's charms oh uh, i mean i i guess at that point it was kind of impossible to not fall for it because taylor didn't comment on it and then just disappeared. So it made it seem like yeah. Kim was in the right. But then afterwards, when you found out that she wasn't, it's kind of like, Ooh. I see it all differently now. Um, so it's, yeah, it's just, it's- I it's... feel guilty. Honestly, I'm ashamed of myself because now it's like, speak now is my favorite era. Speak now, girlies, where well, you Well, yeah, are. we're going to the era's tour actually twice yes. this weekend. Friday and Sunday. I You're am there, so excited. Well, when this comes out, I'll we will off. literally be there. <gasps> we'll be there living our best lives. Oh my, oh my God. God, I'm so excited. Oh, I've just okay. um I've just ordered about 
three thousand gems online from Amazon <laughs> to bedazzle to bejewel my outfit because I, I want to go with bejeweled. Do. Are you? Can going you guys to... say what you're going as? Do you want? Yeah. To? So I mean, I have not decided because this week I'm going away to Los Angeles and I banked on this like outfit arriving that hasn't it was crotchless um <laughs> crotchless <arseless>. chaps <laughs> um so i am now in a in a situation where i've either got to get to la and then find my own outfit or i've got to like order things off the internet I feel like you could find something there i feel like it's probably the place but i'm it. gonna be so jet lagged and i'm gonna be deranged and i'm going to have a meltdown over it yeah, i know you're that definitely I gonna be calling me up like, yeah please. I'm going to buy like a sparkly bikini and show up and say that You'd I'm look great in it, love. You would. Yeah, thank you. For it. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at. I also um, am debating whether I go like as Velma, like we said in the last episode. Um, but I've, I've kind of come to what the era conclusion. For Velma? I would go as tortured poets, Velma. Oh, okay. And how would you kind of jazz that up? I think I might have said this in the last one. I'm not sure, but yeah. I will say it again. Did I? Uh, well, I would wear... I'd obviously have the Velma bob. Of course. Velma, you... In order to do... This is the thing that most people need to get their head around. In order to do Velma, you need to have the key essential Velma parts. And you might remember, just as I met you, actually, I was having a birthday party with my friends. And I oh, told course, them all yeah. that the theme was the multiverse of Velma. That's a brilliant thing. And every single person had to be a different Velma from a different universe. So I was emo Velma. Uh, Maisie was space Velma. We had cowgirl Velma. We had pregnant Velma. We had pregnant Velma was we had amazing. Grandma Velma, which was possibly the best. And the the key thing that had to be consistent amongst every single Velma was orange turtleneck, red skirt glasses and bob now that bob could be gray if you go in mm. as grandma velma it it's could open to be interpretation but you have to keep the staple they velma are the staple ingredients yes so like pregnant velma was sound she just did classic velma with a pillow inside of her um i was emo velma so i you know i accessorized with some frightening looking bracelets some chains yeah. some nipple dark clamps. eyeliner nipple clamps of course, of course. Um, you don't have to buy those for the outfit. No, I just wear them already quite often, to be honest cupboard. with you. Um, and if I was to be going to the Taylor Swift Eras tour as Tortured Poets Velma, then my kind of costume that I was going to do was have a big kind of hat that has like a feather coming out of it. Right. Um, and you. I would have a scroll with me and a quill. Oh, and, nice. Yeah, and like a massive quill. A huge a quill. A huge feathered quill. Yes. Um, maybe even one handcuff, um, just on one arm, what, to, to show to that torture. I've been tortured. Right. Or you could just get those nipple clamps back out. I could. I could. <laughs> nipple tortured, Velma. Oh my God, that's a great idea. That's, yeah. Um, and then good. I would have mascara running down my eyes. Nice. And I would be in a perpetual state of, ah, whilst I'm writing. And then I'm a tortured poet, Velma. It's amazing. It Do is it. amazing. I just might. Yeah. I just might. I think Taylor, oh, she might pull you up, up on stage for that, or she'll give you the hat. Doesn't she give the hat for uh, I mean, she'd have 22? to. She, uh, if it's a feathered hat, then um, unfortunately, if it's not, then <laughs> it, it would break, it would ruin my outfit. So <laughs> you have to she'd leave. have to, um, and maybe we could just stick a feather on it after the fact. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's, my, that's my theme right it. now. And I just want to say everyone in the comments, who was saying that, you know, they, they understand where I'm coming from and that they, you know, love and support my point of view. I'm so sorry that George is the way that he is. I think that if we all come together and really try to change him, I think that we can do it. Um, and Taylor, to be if fair, you're watching... Go I'll go and I finish your message to her. Taylor, if She's you're watching, um, just just send me a message. Just reply to my text. She'll definitely see this. She reckon, will. Yeah. She will. She's a fan. I've forgotten what I was going to say now. Oh, Thanks. brilliant. Right. Um, it was important though. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh no, yeah. Um, my point was, when we were on tour, we were out in Bristol. Do you remember there was like we a med... about this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. yeah. Well, Sorry, love. I clearly should watch the podcast. It wasn't... You know? <laughs> yeah, you should. It wasn't Bristol either. It was London. When we got no. the crowd to cheer for or against no. Taylor. Wait, oh, no. what were you going to say? About? I was oh. talking about when we were in Bristol, we went on that night out to that little student club. That was fun. And they played like a medley of Taylor oh, Swift songs yeah. back to back. Oh, yeah. And George was, George knew the words. He did. So he can he come did. on here on this podcast mm. and say, oh, I don't like Taylor Swift. Yeah. 
it's not okay. He's a liar. And it's a lie. He's just trying to act cool in front of his straight bros He's down at the front. Well, bros. all of the boys were singing along. They were. <laughs> Everyone was. Exactly. Exactly. Straight men, straight men love Taylor Swift. Taylor, Taylor, hater in the streets, lover in the sheets. That's what I've heard about nice. George Clark. Right. I've Double heard that he Tundra. actually can't come to completion unless <laughs> Twenty Two by Taylor Swift is playing. <laughs> That's just a rumor. Him and I both. Obviously. Yeah, that's a rumor. I'm not spreading spreading lies and fallacies. It's it's fact. <laughs> um, so yeah, he was. But they they were the generic Taylor Swift songs, which they were again, basic. people in the comments, which I cannot agree with more, were saying the only people that ever call Taylor Swift generic are the ones that have heard "Shake It Off," "Twenty Two, and that "Love Story." That was me. I had not expanded. Like I had not delved into the discog discography mm. so i did not know that there were gems in there exactly gem gem gems bejeweled gems i love bejeweled i just said to max yesterday actually every time i listen to bejeweled i get chills which is so embarrassing it's quite embarrassing but it's just the truth it's okay you are who you are and i love you for <laughs> what's it what's your favorite era my favorite era might be i mean it's, it's probably reputation if i deep it because that is like you're dark and times. mysterious yeah. um i also have a very soft spot for lover in my heart mm. i really do i like it a lot the dichotomy of man that's, that's the two sides um, of your personality that's a big word we don't usually I'm do that at the use of hotline mm-hmm. thank you um what was i gonna say i was at the capital summertime ball you were i, I wasn't to... i didn't get invited no nfi Chase not flipping invited um i got to meet megan trainer how was she? She was iconic. She was everything. She was literally... She follows you, doesn't she? Yes. So I knew that she followed me, but on TikTok, you can follow someone and then like never see them again and then like not really care. Um, so I was very excited to meet her because I was like, I know that she follows me. So maybe when I explain like who I am or that she follows me, she might be like, right. oh yeah, I know you. Delusional. She, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, she was getting interviewed about like three people down before she got to like the TikTok squad. And she locked eyes with me. And she literally went, <gasps> and I was like, oh. And then I like looked behind me to be like, oh, is she, she like herself. what? And then she goes, <laughs> she goes to the person interviewing her. She's like, I'm so sorry. I, I, I just, I just made eye contact with Max. And I was like, and then she was like, I love him. And then oh she came up to me, and Clout. she was so nice. You put like, that on your CV, I reckon. I think I might do. I think I might do just that. Well, she, she was nice. So lovely. She, she was seems just, like she would be. She seems so nice. And I knew that she seemed nice, but under circumstances where you're about to perform for like 80,000 people and you might have lots of anxiety, yeah. you never know what you're going to get with these artists. Like they could be like in work like mode, and, mode and very yeah. fearful. Um, but oh my God, she was so lovely, so chill, so calm. I got to meet her husband, Juni Cortez from the Spy Kids. I don't think I've ever seen Spy Kids. No, I must have. I know I have. I, um, have. I saw it in 3D with the old, do you remember the old Who's glasses? Josh Groban? Kill yourself. I don't, is that a quote? No, it's from Glee, but um, I don't know oh, why I chose right. to do it there. <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> um, no, I have seen. That's iconic. It is was he still iconic. doing stuff? Is he? St- yeah. And also like they have a family and oh, they the run- baby is so, have you seen the baby? Their little baby is so Riley cute. is the most, the literally, if you were going to draw it's like, a, like a Pixar, like adorable child, so that sweet. is what would come I out. I want a baby like that. Oh. Should we make one? I mean, we don't can. know how. It might yeah. take a while. Yeah. Arts and crafts. We'll try though. We'll try. Uh, but yeah, she was lovely. Who else Good. did I meet? Got to see Perry again. Perry Edwards. Always lovely. We love Perry Edwards. Yeah, we go way back. We're basically old friends at this point. We've met twice. Um, so that was amazing. Thrice, actually. Three times. Yeah. Oh, we've met three times. Yeah. We're literally family members. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> and that was wild for me. Again, I mean, every time that I see someone from Little Mix, it's wild for me. Because oh my I'm God, like, Matt, he lose it. You lose your mind. I don't time. really lose my mind. But Intern- no, but I think you're just like, pinch me, pinch me. Like, yes. this is wild. Yeah. Because you were, you were Stan. Oh, you were hardcore Stan. Deep the, in the trenches. The, did you have a Stan account? No. I never had a Stan account you, for anything. To, I wish that I did. Didn't you used to interact with yeah. like, a lot of like, Oh, I was very Stan in Stan Twitter, Twitter for a Little Mix. Like, I knew a lot of them by name. Uh, some of them probably know <laughs> this. I, th- I swear that there was someone called Alice or Ali or something. And she was from Ireland. And I actually met her. or I was somewhere and someone had her on FaceTime. Sorry, I just burped. Apologize. Oh, okay. Carry on. Yeah. Um, and someone had her on FaceTime and like showed her to me. Um... And that was very nice. If you're oh, out there, a little community. See, I don't understand the stand culture like at all because I've never been a stand for anyone. Well, apart from Celine Dion, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, what you want? No, about? but I feel like they, no, but being a stand is like 
really actively, yeah, they're a bit vocally they're, yeah, yeah, it's very... loving someone, having the accounts, mm. like being all there in the comments, attacking other people. Like I always see in um, comment sections, like the barbs are just like attacking yeah. everyone, which I'm but a I barb. Think, but... I think we're a bit too old or either either you got onto that and you decided to do that. Old. Or you were no, a bit older. No, but the believers you... were like my time. Like they were, they were. No, strong but you're not base. a believer. No, I actually, I actively hated him back in the day as well. But again, Until it was like internalized homophobia. Probably just fancied yeah, him. Yeah, see, look at that. And I had hair like him as well back in the day. Like I mean, who did it? What album did you start liking him? Purpose. Oh, um, yeah, purpose. That the, purpose. the black and white. Cover. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my god, I used Same. to listen. Same. Oh my god, it's so good. So iconic. Everyone we still did though. That, that was car, the first we? album where everyone was like, "Oh my god, Justin Bieber's actually good." Like in it still. No, yeah. I real. remember <laughs> working at Sainsbury's, <laughs> and mm. every single day I used to walk to Sainsbury's, and I remember it was like snowing at this time. It was like December time, and I was walking through the snow, listening to him, being like, "This is like the pinnacle of my life right now. I could orgasm." Like he, oh. do you not think? <laughs> Interesting. I mean, yeah. And the, <laughs> He's in got the bangers, dairy but then the, it was a confusing time because I feel like some of the songs were about Selena and some of the songs were about Haley. Mm. You're not that in the I don't law. remember. No, I wasn't. Maybe that I am into a believer. It. Yeah, I was just more like <laughs> I like the boot. That was I very like much me. Um, so we <laughs> we went to see um, Luanne de la Seps in concert. We did for all the Real Housewives fans out there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, she's a queen. Describe Countess to everyone that does not. So know. this is more niche than um, some of the things that I speak about on this podcast but the Real Housewives franchise is at this point one of my main hobbies. It's a religion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm being so deadly serious when I say that it is literally a hobby in my life is keeping up with this franchise um, and the Real Housewives of New York specifically is mine and Andrew's favourite. One of the people in the cast uh, which by the way the show is basically a cast of women um it's a reality tv show and they get followed by cameras for like months at a time they're all part of a friend group or part of like a wider friend group and they kind of interact with each other and it follows the drama that goes on to and there's a lot out. of drama you wouldn't expect middle-aged women to have that much drama but they do well they we love every second very rich and there's I think, a lot of money yeah like beverly hills they've got like Ooh, loads and loads yeah. of money so it's like very glamorous but mm. they fight dirty don't they? and they actually literally fight a lot of the time oh as yeah well. there's been physical fights it's a lot which i find very entertaining it's just like there's just so much law to it and we have watched we've watched most of them now like in yeah. in full and yeah. we're currently working our way through real housewives of new jersey i'd say there's is... seven or eight franchises how many should we More? try to name them should we try yeah, to yeah, name yeah, them yeah we can name them new york atlanta beverly hills New Jersey, Orange County, Salt Lake City, Salt Lake City, Dubai, Dubai. There's more. Miami, did you say? Miami, I haven't said Miami. Um, Potomac. Potomac. Um, and then there's like Cheshire. Yeah. Uh, Sydney. Sydney, Melbourne. There's so oh, many. So many. So many. But the the American ones are the best ones. Oh yeah, definitely. Because they're like mental. I mean, yeah, you know, it's so entertaining. But there's this one person who is called Countess Luanne de Lesseps. And she... <laughs> so ridiculous, she, isn't it? She's a literal countess. And not anymore. Not anymore, but she, she kept the name for a stage name. It's fine. Um, she, in her first couple of seasons of being on The Real Housewives of New York, released some music. And the music if is... you can call it that. It's a ve- I, I would call it that. I'd, I, you know. We bop to it. Yeah, we do. Um, it's quite an acquired taste. And it's more so speak singing um, with a lot of... Slam poetry. Yes, yeah. yes, with a lot of auto-tune and a lot of cunt put into it. Oh, spade loads. Um, spade yeah. loads. Um, and we got the grand opportunity to watch her in concert well, live. If by mean we... if <clears throat> God, I'm choking. As in I bought VIP tickets yeah. for £250. Yeah, we bought a meet and greet um, ticket. We got the meet and greet ticket. I was, I've never been so nervous. I mean, like in this job that we do, we're fortunate enough to interact with celebrities sometimes. Mm. So, you know, we come across a lot of cool people. I have never been more nervous to meet a celebrity in my life. Oh, same. Because she's such a niche one. And to a lot of people, you just walk past her on the street and be like, you're right, Lou. But for us, it's like, <laughs> she's this everything. is God. Like this she's is everything. a religion. We love her. We, I mean, we've watched her face. We've seen her face so many times. Oh like, my God. If you want to talk about a reality television arc, then you want to talk about Luanne Della Seps because quite frankly, she started the show 
prim and proper a countess she brought out a book on class and etiquette and then a couple of (laughs) years later proceeded to be arrested for battery of a police officer yep this is and you get to see in the show the footage of her arrest as well she She slips out out of the handcuffs handcuffs. oh my god amazing you got to get to know guys if you're not on it so iconic so iconic so now she has a cabaret show that she tours the world with yeah she's in her cabaret era and (laughs) she's what i would call vocally challenged (laughs) absolutely um it doesn't come naturally to her does it no but and weirdly as well Usually when you're doing a craft like music or whatever, over the years you probably improve through vocal lessons mm. and, you know, just practice. With her, it seems that she's actually gotten worse, which I'm not... But don't don't attack my woman. No, but you have to admit, it's like... She could see this the Gruffalo, and it's you just grisly. ruined your chances of ever going to Tilda's Castle. Well, to be fair, you did want her on here, didn't you? I did you want asked, her on here. I actually, I actually emailed, on. when she came in town to do her London shows, I actually emailed her PR and got a swift decline. So yeah, but Lou, all I'm trying to say is, if you're ever in London and you would like to go on a UK number one charting podcast... Oh, I thought you were going to say on a night out, because I was like, we'll take too, you to freedom, we're doing that it. That too... Uh, She'd we, love it there. We got to go to her after party after we the show. Did. Oh my god! Yeah, iconic. Tilda Swinton. Tilda Swinton was at the Tilda show. Tilda Swinton. Stood next to we us. are in like we managed to like know people there by chance that mm. then got us into this VIP Jack section. Jack Remington, friend of the pod. Yeah, friend of the pod. Jack got us into this section where it was like a little balcony where it was kind of like friends and whatever, like the VIPs, of course. Mm-hmm. And about halfway through the show, Tilda Swinton just swindles by us doesn't she yeah. she just trotters by us and we were like is that Tilda Kane Swinton Larkin. oh Kane- <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that I mean she l- <laughs> she is she's giving big twink energy isn't she she's, she's like, giving such twink energy is, Tilda Swinton google Tilda Swinton dressed you like will recognise like a Victorian child but... she's a very famous actress I didn't she's the, she was the um, snow, snow queen, queen in Narnia in Narnia in person, she looked like a little bit like Kane Larkin, and Jack pointed do that out. Do people know who Kane me... Larkin is? I feel like everyone knows who Kane oh, Larkin they? is. Okay. Yeah, um, and that made me laugh Bless a lot her. when that was said. She's she's very talented and she's seemed very, very lovely as well. But she clearly was a massive Luan fan. Oh, huge! And um, yeah, she was at the after party as well, and Luan yeah. beeline straight for straight her. Straight to her. She was sat with Tin Tilda. And um, yeah, me and Max were like clinging around the edge, kind of just yeah. like hoping that. Maybe she'd come and say hi yeah, to us. Yeah, oh my God, we are not. <laughs> Everyone was doing that though, so it's cool. Yeah. We're cool. We're really We're cool. cool. Um, what else? What else? Oh, am I okay to talk about myself? You're allowed to say Oh, no, is that yeah. okay? Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Love you. Um, I'm going to LA tomorrow. Are you? I am. I had no idea. Yeah, you did. Um, <laughs> and you reminded me of a story of the last time that I went to LA. Oh, yes. I might have spoke about this. Oh, no, I definitely did speak about one part of it because I spoke about... Uh, meeting Chris Appleton and Chriselle Staus and George was basically like who the hell are they what on that do you know do you want to know who else is performing in Reading the same day that we are who G Flip no way oh my god iconic oh my god so Chriselle will be be there there. Chriselle baby if you're out there I'll see you at Reading okay (laughs) Um, the fact that I'm going to LA tomorrow reminded me of a story that I haven't told on the podcast of something Ooh. that happened to me the last time that I was in LA. Do tell. I was at an Oscars um, like party with a bunch of like celebs and Bougie. influencers, very Bougie. fancy. And I was sat at a table with a bunch of influencers, like big, lovely influencers from um, the US. And James Charles walks in. And it was so funny because he walked over to speak to somebody that I was at the table with and he like got in their ear and was like, (laughs) whatever the fuck he was saying, I don't know. Scooby-Doo. Yeah, and the person whose ear he was speaking into was literally like looking at all of us like, Oh my god <laughs> and i was like so he's universally hated and then everybody the second that he left was like oh my god he's the worst he's gone <laughs> oh my god i have to say i'm not a fan i, I mean, mean no no but some people are see this is what shocks me i thought we'd all decided this man has done predatory behavior questionable behavior allegedly that, i guess allegedly yeah. yeah i am scared he's got a lot of money actually allegedly yeah. allegedly but I thought everyone on the internet was like, no, we're not doing this anymore. Well, like, I think everybody in the industry is because like... But, well, you don't but, want to be associated with that, yeah. surely. No, but he's still like, he pulls in numbers on TikTok and stuff. I see yeah, his but videos it's... come up on my For You page and I never press like not interested, but I do it every time he comes mm. up, but it does not work. 
I mean, I'm not here to be a professional hater, but I, I do think that I hate it. if somebody has shown that they they abuse their platform by speaking to underage people inappropriately, yeah, the then out. they probably shouldn't have a platform. I think I'm just offended that he's not messaged me yet. Well, you don't look young enough. I look too haggard. Old, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was just like a funny little story. But yeah, I mean, the general consensus was that like nobody. That's so liked interesting because I w- I don't know what I would have expected. Like the LA scene just seems so like different to what it's like here. Oh my like god, it's, it's so like different. a completely different world. Yeah, whenever I've been to events in LA, it is so Is it more so different? Standoffish or is are people nicer with To be honest, other, so? I think with the rise of TikTok, TikTokers that I've met, the the general consensus of people who get followings on TikTok usually is if if they're more comedy based, is right. that they have an actual personality. And I think because TikTok rolls so quickly, a lot of them are also quite humble. Yeah. Um, and that was what I, I, I gathered from like the UK scene. And then going over to LA, I kind of got a similar vibe when I met people like Brittany Broski. And who was the other one that you met that's really lovely that you said? Um, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I cannot remember. she his... seems really nice. Oh, yes. You know I'm talking about. Oh my God, she has a podcast. Yeah, yeah. And she's really oh, funny. Oh, Drew. Drew. Sedora. I... Is she called Drew Sedora? Is that someone else? No, Drew. that's a housewife. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> From Atlanta. Oh my there God. There we go. Oh, <laughs> it's I'm in so our brain obsessed. every She's second. She's called Drew and she was really funny yeah, and really yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then Bowman, if you know Bowman, he's from Canada. He does the like yes, reality yes, TV yes, yeah, style. He was the lovely. Stuff. I met him. Uh, yeah, so many nice. So that's like the vibe that I it got. Just, it just scares me there. It just seems like yeah. a lot. Yeah. And you but, have to drive in LA everywhere you go. Exactly. It's a lot. It's no, it's, it is a lot. Drive, it is a lot. So. But I'm very excited to be going. Well, so, have a nice listen. time. I'll be looking after the house. Someone has to. Oh, thanks. Cleaning. Yeah. The ant infestation yeah. that we've got. The ants are back. Did you tell them about the ant infestation? I think I did. And I think George, as usual, anytime that anything I actually imported or that I actually <laughs> want to speak about, George just plays it down as if nothing. It's not a big deal. Yeah. So I oh, told I'd him. I'd like we... him to try and exist with ants like that. It's that ant farm. He it's probably horrible. does. He's a gross boy. He probably <laughs> has cockroaches in his ass at all times. I don't know what straight boys do. I'm cockroaches sorry. in his ass. In his wow. ass, yeah. To be fair, on that tour bus, I did notice a few creepy crawlies. Yeah. And I thought they do smell oddly like George Clark's anus. Yeah. Okay. The smell um, you're all too familiar with. Um, yeah, I know it all too well. All too well. well. Oh my, we might get copyright stricken because that sounded really so similar, similar to it. So similar. Um, we actually had some questions did sent we? in um, by our lovely viewers. Um, so lovely. Directly targeted towards me and Andrew. So I thought, whilst I've got you here and... Um, George can't interrupt us by going (laughs) Um, I thought that we could actually go through all of the questions I can't wait let's do it so first question if it weren't for lockdown and COVID do you think you would have met (gasps) if it weren't for lockdown and COVID see so we've spoken about this because (laughs) there must be a night in our lives where we were both at Heaven Nightclub 100% at the same time I'm sure we've even described like an act being on or something happening on stage that yeah. we, we both witnessed we were both there but we did not know each other at that mm. point so we were star-crossed lovers that's quite we, romantic we kind of it? were it's an invisible string theory that's what it's called isn't it I do think that I mean whether it would have turned into what it's turned into I don't know but I do think like we would have met in some there's context. so many variables because COVID as a thing birthed my career and Andrew is a clout chaser. So if COVID didn't happen, I wouldn't have become a TikToker and Andrew probably wouldn't have fancied me. So there's so True. many variables there that I, I, I would guess, no, I guess no. I know, but I think we just would have met at, sorry, First of all, fuck you, <laughs> what the hell? Not true. Second of all, I think we probably would have met at, but then actually I was gonna say like freedom, but I only started going to freedom off the back of- Of me. Of no, not just of you, but just like the people that we hang out with in this industry. Yeah, me. But heaven, mm. I was in my heaven era. I was going like all the time, like tits yeah. out, poppers in. Oh, wow. Okay. Can I say that? I mean, you just did. Whatever. Yeah. Um, but I think I think maybe, but I, d- I don't know if we 
Yeah, I don't know if it would have like developed to the point. I like to think it did. I, I know think that we are just soulmates. It, even it I don't gave us soulmates. very optimum conditions to, but and the, but then you say that, and so many people had lockdown relationships that the second that lockdown ended, they broke up. So yeah, very true. I mean, true. it kind of proves that we we survived being under both circumstances. I mean, we've been together longer out of lockdown than we were Wait, in lockdown. What was lockdown. the question? Was it a question? If of survival? it weren't for lockdown, would we have met? Oh right, yeah. I think that we probably would have met that the issue was, I mean, it's not even an issue. I think it was just lockdown also around the exact time that we met made us both, I think, realize that we wanted a relationship, mm. whether it, if it wasn't for lockdown, I was, I was desperate, wasn't I? Yeah. But you were a bit of a loser. That's probably desperate. why. Uh, <laughs> I made exceptions. Oh yeah. I was about to, when COVID <laughs> happened, I was, I just turned 21. I was about to move to London. I probably would have been in my absolute hot girl era, going out all now the time. Now look at us, fuck it up. I know, now we're in a, sh a short girl era. <laughs> um, we're in our short bag. <laughs> um, so I don't know is the thing that I'm going to say, but I, I think that if we met, despite COVID or lockdown, if that, if that didn't happen, I do think that we would still be together because yeah. too many things are correct for it to not have worked. Yeah. We are just one and the same, really. We are. We present very differently, but at our core, which is at home on the sofa, we are the same person, aren't we? Yeah. We speak the same language. <laughs> we do. Love language. Gay language. Yeah. Gay pop. Question two. Favourite and least favourite thing about living with each other? Uh, oh, oh my God, how long do we have? Can immediately? Because I've on. got one straight Go off Go on, that. go for it. I think I've said it before, but you drive me wild because you don't, and this is quite a like chill thing, but it really fucking annoys me. Anytime Max opens a cupboard, any like anything, anything that is like openable, he will just leave it open. So like the drawers. I say, hate that. My current housemate does that. Oh my god, it's <laughs> completely I'm kicking them out. It, it <laughs> honestly is like it's so triggering because it's so visible as well that I just see it and it makes me go like. Rrr. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit. But. Like in the, you go to bed at night with the cupboards wide open and the and drawers- And my eyes wide shut, baby. <laughs> and the drawers pulled open, like all of them will be pulled open. Oh, it's so weird. I and just I like, like, how can you have a peaceful sleep knowing aesthetic. that all of that is open? Shut yeah. Um, um, and, okay. and in the kitchen, you do it as well. Oh, fab. Every cupboard is just left open. Oh, right, well, it. my least favorite thing hey, about hey, hey, Andrew hey. is his stank ass attitude. No, um, my least favorite thing about Andrew is that he says that he'll do oh, something. On. Living together, not- Least oh, favorite thing about bloody. each oh, other. Yeah, that, that, I'm get, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's right. I'm getting. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. He's got a long about list. About living with clearly. Andrew. Sorry. Least favorite thing about living with Andrew is that he says that he will do something, and then doesn't do it. So, for example, <laughs> we had a full that's ant true. infestation in our kitchen. <laughs> it was Andrew's job. Bear in mind, in any given week, I have let's say twice the amount of responsibilities that Andrew does. Not saying um, you know that he doesn't have responsibilities, going. but a lot of the more home tasks I will delegate towards you. Guys, and you can will you please say, listen to this. And Do you, you hear how say, 1950s this is? The oh home tasks, the homemaker. De delegate, he says, like he, he's in charge. He delegate. does. He, before he leaves the house, and <laughs> I he am can in charge. Be, oh, you're so annoying. Here we go. <laughs> well, you've started it now. Oh, I'm ready to finish it, baby. Um, we had an ant infestation, like I said. Not a nice experience. Nobody wants a colony of ants in it their was, house taking over their kitchen. Hordes and hordes. In thousands. their fridge. Um, so the exterminator <laughs> advised us after he was finished exterminating to contact a builder and seal the wall. Before we come to film the podcast today, what do I see in the kitchen? Oh, some ants. Um, why has that happened, I wonder? Because I left it in Andrew's responsibility to contact a builder to get the thing sealed. So now, what, two, you three months have passed? How long's three it been? Three months. How long's it been? Two months. Since. Are two you months. joking me? No. Two months. I, two when did months. we go on holiday? Was it wasn't before weeks. we went on yeah. holiday. Yeah. So, yeah. No, right before yeah, no, yeah. no from when the exterminator came and told us that we needed the last time no he came the first time and said it to us no but he said you have to wait until after you have to yeah leave it and bit. how long has it been since then about um, three four weeks uh, but, so four weeks. about about a month yeah a, uh, a month since andrew was supposed to and shock horror answer back in our house so i yeah <laughs> <laughs> i can't answer 
thank you against that. No, I am awful at <laughs> damn awful period. I'm not good at um, following through on tasks. You follow through in your pants through. all the time. Or, or every day I've got IBS. Yeah. Um, um, but on in terms of tasks, not We didn't have blinds in our house but, for nine months. But this is what drives me wild. I kind of resent the fact that you will like leave the house, before you're about to leave the house to go do like- To go and do work. Oh, Mm. sometimes work sometimes like oh i've got to do a job and like go to a restaurant and like talk about instagram for 10 minutes it's like bitch no, oh it's the same bitch. job as my bitch no that you work really hard Let's on a lot of things on the, on the podcast there. on the tour on many Let's aspects of your life but there. sometimes the jobs you do are not it, like every job what about so, the jobs that you do are they are you are you on the front did line i know this was gonna happen are you we on come the front on line within sir? 10 minutes we're literally where is the line place. are you at the front of it i can't I'm not see. claiming to be though darling well I you don't better not do be doing difficult I don't say I live a hard life. Carry on. I want to f- hear the end Carry- of your statement. I will finish. So before he leaves the house, you might even be like, you might have some jobs later to do that day, but you're like, I'm going to go and go to the shops now. Before you leave, can you take the bins out, do this, do that, call the builders, da, 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 and give me like all the jobs that no one really wants to do and that we should just work through together. And you give them to me because you, <laughs> and then you can say, I told you to do that. Why haven't you done it? told you to do that why haven't you done it and it's like well you could also do it and it makes me not want to do them you're starting you're a fire talking. that you it cannot put out so infuriating also oh, whatever let's just leave it there you think i'm gonna leave let's it there after leave that the relationship after there. that it's ogre you are mental first of all <laughs> well you failed bitch <laughs> you it's you you started crazy. you started getting beefy with me you Oh my god, I've got a great idea for an episode. Can we get Oh, it's not my podcast. <laughs> I was like, no, give, give me ideas. That's I was great. gonna say, can we bring like a therapist in and we can like work through our issues on, on camera? I mean, uh, do we With really George can that's, yeah, that's just Are gonna you go for real? horribly. Oh, I didn't wrong. mean like our real issues. What? So we're gonna what? Oh, no, you know you can do get... that, but do it in private. Yeah, <laughs> but... oh, no, not like our real issues. We don't do really we need have any therapy. Real issues. Yeah. We need therapy because Andrew didn't call the builder. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's a thing that you do as well. Like, I think it's called forced incompetence. And I feel like I've heard people... I don't know if... Yes. Excuse me, I'm talking, guys. So there's something I've seen... Hold on, let me start that again. There's something called forced incompetence. I think it's called that. Whereby often men, typically, in a relationship will be like, I don't know how to iron. You're really good at ironing. Can you do the ironing for me? Or something like that. So it's like they say that they're not good at it they're incompetent at a certain task oh, like for example if someone says that they're not good at calling people up on the phone well, and they don't like to use anxiety, and they don't like to do telephone like to conversations over. therefore anything that i ask andrew to do if it involves calling someone on the phone which booking a builder probably I get, does right. i can't oh I just that's also like those that. memes of girls when they're like when they're single and independent they're like fucking chucking their baggage everywhere when they've got mm. a man mm. oh i can't do it honestly andrew you you you've got <sighs> forced incontinence out. you don't want to get on this <laughs> <laughs> honestly i think incontinence. that we just leave that here unless you want me to light this podcast on fire oh i just thought that was an interesting we go to question point. three boys yeah, let's, yes let's just we shall Oh, oh yeah! Was oh that, yeah! Was it favorite as well? Favorite thing about living with Andrew? Oh, let me just go through my notes. I'm sure it's deep in there somewhere. Go You're on. horrible. I'm joking. Yeah, go They're, on. Literally, Tell me. before we film any podcast, anything, Andrew decides <laughs> we're going to argue on television. No, Max chokes me up against the wall and says, "You better not fucking argue with me." Because I say, "Let's just be nice and have a good time," and you it's can't help Friday yourself. Night, no? It's not it deep. It is actually it's not deep. I just like to clarify for any of you that are worried about us. Please don't be. What we about love- me? Are you worried about us? Yeah, I am now. We need a therapist. We on the are useless like hotline. the fact that we can openly bicker about these things is not that deep. It really is. I don't think it's that deep. The I main think thing sometimes you need is people read into things and think that like you know you'll hate someone, but um, I I love you. We have this same you. conversation every single because time. You, we come because up. of you, I could so have. Funny. To be fair, I could have started. I don't even remember. Maybe I started. Whatever. It, fair right. Enough. No. Let's start that again. What we love about each other. Yeah. Wait. I the the thing that I like the most about living with you is that if I ever feel like I've been like unproductive, mm. I can look at you and feel better about myself. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> if, um, no, if, I mean, we always just, I, we, we just sit on the couch. We have so many shared interests that we- We sit on the couch. You're not helping. This <laughs> no, but we thing. have so many shared interests no, we that we actually enjoy so much of life together. And I think getting that it's, 
it's a very rare thing, especially like when you move to like another city or something like that, or when you're like in your early twenties, to have a living situation where you feel completely like comfortable and safe. happy and safe mm. and loved all the time. And I have that with you. Aww. And we literally sit and watch our favorite TV shows together all the time. We play games together we all the we, time. We always say that's the thing we love the most is like we completely align, like perfectly align yeah. on all our like downtime interests yeah. are exactly the same. We want to do the exact same thing. So there's never any disagreement mm. apart from maybe like genre of film sometimes because you like them all like silly and like minions. Yeah, and I, I can't like watch them. like, I mean, I, I can like, watch like a, a dark, serious I like film. A darker, I don't like, like a dark thriller. I, I'm very scared, Iona. Yeah, you you get jump, you jump a lot. Yeah, you? yeah. But um, apart from that, we completely align. So that is really nice thing yeah. about living with you. Have to say. Someone better put this in an edit. I know. Is it better? They won't. Some... They won't. You have to be George, and you have to pretend like you're stretching. Yeah, we so don't that have you the arms for that. Yeah, oh, like, like his little snail trail popping out. Yeah, he likes to do it. Well. He likes to do a. So... Oh my god. Yeah. So George was on a YouTube video oh. with Matt. Oh. <laughs> What, what did I do? What was that? You just knocked over your set. No! Oh, it's only him. It's all right. It's not that deep. Oh, it's okay. I've got it. Oh, no. A fan made that. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it out. <laughs> it's, oh. right. it's, it's not broken. That was hand embroidered. It's not. It's um, beaded. Oh, is it? Yeah. Hand no. beaded. Turn it a little oh. bit more so it Yeah. Right. It was looking really good before. You've ruined everything! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So. Right. What's your favorite thing about living with me? Um, my favorite thing about living with you is. Wait, hold on. I actually need to think about this because that's usually the thing I, I always think about you, like what you said, mm. but I can't copy you. So I need something different. But everything about living with you is the fact that... Um, <laughs> wow, <don't> okay. <laughs> well, you're, you're like, you are messy. So I need to get that in my head. I can't think of anything positive. Clearly. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no, because Just I'm thinking about... Just because you can't think of anything no, positive doesn't mean you have no, to say I'm, negative things. No, but it's thing. a, quite a specific question because it's like... Favorite thing about you is completely different. That's easy. But favorite thing about living with you, I'm trying to say like being in a house with you, like, um, oh, like, <laughs> I don't know anything. You can pay for it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Callum. The, the deposit. No, um, I... Oh my God. Do you know what, guys? If we ever break up, I hope that you will post do we have the, clips how like long do this on the internet and be like, I knew all along. No, but it's a very specific. My favorite thing about living with you is... Right, we can come back to the question if you need 20 minutes to take a break and think about it. Right, okay. Um, Sweet, well, well... No, okay. My nice. favourite thing about living with you is... What's that? Are, <laughs> you <don't> <laughs> Are you for real? Are you for real? It's making me laugh. Though. What is wrong with you? What is happening? I thought that you liked me. <laughs> I do, I love you. But it's... I can't think of my... <laughs> My favorite thing about living with you. You can say it however many times you want. <laughs> that is so funny. I actually can't think of anything. Um, my favorite thing about living with you is. <laughs> I can't think of anything. Oh, wait. I can't I, tell. I, feed me one. I can't. Are you for real? Are we actually going to leave it there? Yeah? No, are no. Are you for real? No, but having, what is you just wrong said, with you? You encompass everything. Having fun together, watching TV. I said sitting on the couch and watching TV shows with you. <laughs> That's so funny. That I actually can't think of anything. Then um, to, to be fair, like you did chime in a lot during his answer and you said things that you weren't saying. Well, that's what I was just saying. Well, you on. can say the same. You don't I have... said I can't. I'm trying to think of something else. I mean, I would like to think that there's... Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. All right, well, we're all ears. We're none all waiting. That, none of that happened. Oh, we um, did, and oh, we're keeping so that in. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> my favourite thing about living with you, and mm. this came straight to me, it did not take me a second <laughs> to think about it, yeah. is, um, like, you know, when I'm cooking, and, like, you're in the kitchen, and we're playing music together, and it's like, we're both, I, I love watching you enjoy the food that I've made, and it's, like, a really wholesome time, and I always think to myself, I can't believe that this is my life that I have. Um... Is yeah, that nice keep enough? Trying. Yeah, um, keep trying. No, but it's like, it's a really wholesome thing. Like we've got a little, um, especially when the dog was there, it's like a little family unit. Do you yeah, know what I mean? So that that's why, cute. again, that we want cute. the dog. But it's like, oh. I never would have dreamed at this point in my life to have been living like in a house that I own with my partner that I'm publicly with. And like in that situation, it's just like the little moments like that, like having dinner together, like I've cooked or like, you know, we get in after a long day and we're like swapping stories. Actually, that is it. 
You know, like when we've both done something differently mm. and then we recoup in the evening mm. and then it's like, we just run through everything that we've yeah. had that day. And it's yeah. like, we're chiming in and we're like, yeah, that's always nice. Oh, that's very cool. cute. Yeah. You got there in the end. I'll very let you have cute. that. So basically it's like, you're a farmer and I'm a pig and you watch me in the trough just gouging. Why are we always talking about pigs? Just make like, it worse. That was such gor- a nice answer. Yeah. Gorging my like leftover meat. Oh, I do meat. love watching you eat because it's like, do we have a, we don't have a fork here. Let me use this as a fork. <laughs> Max holds his, well, you're left-handed first of all. No, so. I eat it with, uh, I don't know mm. why. Yeah, I have my fork in my left hand. So we, because he's got shaky hands, like <laughs> everyone in the comments, anytime I upload a video that's you eating in the background, mm. everyone's like, <laughs> what the? Why is he eating like a freak? And I'm like, he has a medical condition. It's very serious. So to no. stead- he steadies his hand like this, because mm. otherwise it shakes too much if you do it like that, doesn't it? Mm. So you have to do that. And then you scoop and you go like that. And you're like a snapping turtle because you like lunge forward and you lean down and you look just very sweet. I look like a pirate or something. Yeah. But yeah. you zone out as well, doesn't he? Like, he like stares into the distance. It's like there's not a thought going on in his head other than calories, 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 calories. And then there we go. So yeah, wow, that's so my you, favorite so thing. you brought it all the way around to calling me a fat fuck. <laughs> you just undid all of your good work. <laughs> he started the pig Brilliant. conversation. Okay, yeah. what's the next question? Okay. <laughs> next question is, well, last question. Favorite pop girl album of the year? Oh. Brat. It's Brat. a Brat Summer. Oh, okay. okay. This year. Yeah. Yeah. Brat. Period. Fez, Fez. I've actually not listened to it the whole way through yet. It's brilliant. And I'm going to probably today. I really want to. Kermit's giving Brat right now. Is so, he? Yeah, green. Is that Brat? Oh, yeah, it is, isn't yeah. it? Ah, look at him. Oh. Mine is Chapel Rowan's album. Yeah, it's all Chappelle Rowan. Yeah, some Chappelle people Rowan. That is so funny. <laughs> that is actually so funny. Um, I'm obsessed with Chapel Rowan at the minute. Anybody who knows me knows that. Every um, time he's in the shower, that's all I hear. Pink and I'm not complaining. Pony club. Yeah. Oh, he's so in the law of her life right now, I as well, aren't you? Like, he was telling me yesterday, me and Maisie yesterday, about how um, apparently there's allusions to... Um, yeah oh my god yeah i've spoke about it on the pod oh for fuck's sake <laughs> i need to really watch this podcast yeah. this is shocking yeah all right cool um, yeah <laughs> yeah there are answers there are answers. that's that section over right now we're gonna play a game of oh this is gonna go fucking downhill fast isn't it jesus christ well, right we're gonna, they can argue about we're gonna play a game of who's most likely to right Oh, ready? shit, I thought we already did that. yeah. No, we just did the questions. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> All right, boys. Mm. <laughs> Who is most likely to get a tattoo of the other person? Oh. Well, I mean... Three, two, one. Max. Max. Given the fact he's already got scribbles of, what, like, Disney, Mickey Mouse, mm. uh, something, And given the fact that, symbol. obviously, I'm more in love with you than you are with me. No, but I just respect my body enough to not... Wow. No, to not put me oh, on. You're it. not going to put a port. Wait, like a wow. port, a wow. portrait, <laughs> a portrait of your face on my body. Yeah, some. Uh, you're you're actually supposed to think that my face is nice. I don't. Or know like a shaded under. portrait. Maybe you know what? Maybe like a light. No, but this is like 101. You're not supposed to do that. It's like a it's like a kiss of death. Yeah. Because okay. I feel like the moment I'd write Max on me or like get your face on me, you could just change it to TK me. Max <laughs> if I, if we broke That's up. That's very true. I do love shopping. Or, there. Uh, Maximum or, um, quantity. Pepsi Max. Pepsi, Pepsi Max. Likes like Pepsi Max. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'd, I'd, but yeah, def on me because I am. Um, I've already got tattoos. I'm not I do as... want a tattoo though. Fun fact, but guys. Not, I won't start with your face. You missed out on content of on the tour. Oh, we... I'm actually slightly disappointed well, we so didn't all I. do this. Of it course. was you. You weren't doing it. Oh, yeah, you I'm, started you the George. hate train. No, it wasn't. It was George. I no. didn't oh, do it, it George. because George did it. I know. And so when right. I said George, my justification, you all actually, agreed. No, I agree. If we're I not agree. all doing it as a crew, yes. I'm not do doing wanna, it. Do you want to give context? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. we all nearly got a tour tattoo and it was going to be like in the vlog and be a whole moment. George, obviously, party pooper, was basically just being like no i'm not going i can't i can't possibly do it <laughs> whatever i can't do his accent um no, We're george, get a little george didn't want to do it um and therefore callum didn't want to do it because we weren't all doing it no i no callum said which i do agree with if 
that it's obviously you and you and George own this podcast. If mm. one of the members that fifty percent of it doesn't of the podcast does not want to get the tattoo, it kind of completely debunks the whole point. So like, why should like me and Maisie and Callum all get it? I like, agree, but we I mean? could have I still like need, got like needs a to be cute a collective. like little thing to like all show that we did that together. Well, Do you know what I know, but like that's the whole point. We all show that we did it, and if I all know. of us aren't showing it, then it's kind of like so. Basically, uh, guys, just, I was yeah. really down. Fully I down. I would have done, done it. As I well. was yeah. going to do it, and then the and then it turned into just Max get it and nobody else for. Did it? For the vlog, yeah. Oh yeah. And then I was like, he's just the pig to slaughter. And then I was like, I'm not getting a tattoo just to. Put it in a YouTube video. You've done video. that twice before and I feel like That's enough actually is enough. quite true. Uh, <laughs> but this would actually have been meaningful. I'm actually for, disappointed. I'm before. genuinely disappointed we didn't. I know. So you know I'm I dis- would have followed through. So guys, <laughs> guys, today. Maybe the everybody, next please leave hate comments under George's um, Is he against tattoos? Pictures. Like, not against Probably. Them, just I mean, he want, seems like the sort like he's of person. I don't think he wants Perfect one. Peter doesn't want to ruin yeah, his perfect yeah, body. Yeah, exactly. He could get it on the biceps though because he shows them off. Yeah, true, true. We were saying let's get it like in a really inconspicuous Place, like on the yeah. gooch behind the ear the gooch, the gooch is a good under place. your foot and luckily for George it's covered in hair so no one will be able to see it yeah. anywhere he could get right. it on his lower back or shoulder blades so you wouldn't be able oh, to see it a tramp it. stamp yeah well, that's kind of, that's useless kind of hotline like, tramp stamp useless just the word useless, useless. <laughs> that would have been great can we get useless no that's what we said instead. Yes. useless would have been good like in italics or something it could have been quite cool I think it would have been cute or I said a little um Picture of a telephone, yeah, a telephone, just like a little telephone. Yeah, I like the telephone. All idea. of which would have been cute, but, but it you didn't have George happen. Clark to blame for that, yeah. guys. So again, Thanks, George. dial up the hate comments. I'll like every single one of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question two. Who's most likely to survive a zombie apocalypse? Oh. I think we are. Wait. Okay. Three, oh, well, yeah. two, one. Me. Max. Andrew. What? We've discussed this before on a desert island, and you said that you would just cry. You said you, and then you were like, actually, no, I think I would just cry. So I think, given that logic, it's me. Mm, okay, then, yeah, I think I, yeah. You're very scared. You can't watch, like, like American Horror Story, I feel like, would freak you out. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, zombie apocalypse, is that the question? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'd kill myself. To be fair. It's either re- you kill yourself straight away, or you're in it for the long haul. Yeah. It's one yeah. or the other. There's no I've point being that in between. Have you watched The Walking Dead? No, and Do you I know don't No. Okay. But I'm sure I I know, I've heard it's great. <laughs> it's <a> great story. <laughs> I win. Um, I just think if it came to a zombie apocalypse, I just think I'm unalive in myself. Mm. Honestly, get gone. There's no way that I'm surviving just that. Just do I'm the zombies get... a favor and just spare them the annoyance yeah, of your existence. Yeah, I'm going to get gobbled up. Easy. Gobble, gobble, toil and trouble. They're having gobble. me. There's no way that I'm surviving yeah, that. But you, love, you do love getting gobbled. I mean, yeah, in the right circumstances, mm. but um, but maybe you know. by like a stinky kind of like rottenly fleshy type of situation, mm. you might not enjoy it so much. Well, that's why I I no longer want to be with you. So, cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's just I I would not survive. I would be pathetic. I would be so terrified every day. I wouldn't sleep, even just on the lack of sleep. I think. I mean, we're be both. Enough. Let me just say, we're both very feeble. Like we're both like yeah. very prissy people. Yeah. And I'm not saying I'd be amazing, but I think I've got a little bit more grit than you do. Yeah. A little I agree. bit. Just I agree. a smidge. Bless, yeah. All right. Who is most likely to sell feet pics? To sell feet pics? Yeah. Well. Three, two, one, Andrew. Andrew. And I is say that because he has. No, oh. but I say it because oh. Max has the ugliest feet that you've ever seen <laughs> in your entire life. Get them out. That's valid. So if anyone wanted to buy those, I'd be very, very yeah. worried. Unless they were kind of into like... Trotters. Think Mr. Tumnus, Narnia. <laughs> think um, The Hobbit. Oh, the t- yeah. Got think- you. I'm sure that's oh, someone's very- fetish. Yeah. Are they hairy? Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I shave my toes. <laughs> no, oh, you don't. Yeah, I started recently Thank shaving. God. Just just trimming them, not full shave. Just just giving them a quick trim every it's, now and again. You know what the wow. worst part about your feet is? It's the, it's just the shape of like the toenail embedded in the toe. They're like a floating island in the middle, aren't they? There's so much space, like white space around, pink yeah, space, sorry, uh, around I have them, like quite little toenails. They're very small, just like... Right, this is really painting a picture middle. that is quite oh, they are nauseating. They're not that bad. He once said to me, would you suck them? And I said, are you no, fucking... No, I did not. <laughs> I think I'd get cholera or something. I don't oh, know what you could get from a toe. Like I gangrene had... of the mouth. One of my exes <laughs> had a foot fetish and he tried to get me to like... Name them touches and no. no he he tried to get me to like include feet into like things 
And <laughs> in I what? Was, like I don't want to food? say. I'm uncomfortable already. Oh I no, was come like, on, you can't say that. Like, up, in like sexual up his things. Ass. Oh, okay. No, fine. not up his ass. Oh. No. But like in a sexual fuck kind of way. I don't know. And then I was like Well like like wedged between is that what they do you're making it sound weirder than i think yeah it is. like just say what well, it i is. think it's pretty i'm just not saying what it is i i was basically like are you sure these feet are a bit <laughs> not like i can't imagine you know they're a bit like rough under the collar they're a little bit you know rough off, the, off the beaten path um <laughs> You've I been really <laughs> off the beaten path i wouldn't oh. really recommend putting them there do you know what i mean like i can't imagine looking at that i need to that. know where they where, are going. putting them where we really need this no i'm not giving any other no, information do, than do, that in his foreskin what whoa <sighs> that's a brilliant answer but is that where Andrew, it is where is it you're being please weird. tell us you where have to say there's like two locations that you could put oh, it. He so said i was one I of them. both of them so up his ass you think but no okay <laughs> so it's the other one what do you think i'm gonna just sit there like kicking yeah with that did you see when he does that you do this really scary Jesus like... Jesus Christ. Ooh. Basically, I said no. <laughs> I said no. He got upset. So then I did a version of it that I was mildly over. to not really comfortable with. And then I just ended up laughing. And I found it very, very difficult. It was like I was doing gymnastics. It was... Oh, and you did used to do gymnastics as a kid, I didn't did, you? So I did, a lot of training for it. not very flexible anymore. Um, no. 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 Yeah. No. No but, one needs your feet near And there, fun sure. fact. And when I met Andrew, this is how much of an aversion he had to doing any sort of work. I was um, depressed, by the way. Okay. Like, whatever. But anyway. Lazy. We'll see. <laughs> um, he genuinely came to me one day and was like, I have found this really great opportunity and it pays really well and I think I'm going to do it. And I was like, oh my God, he's applied to a job. He's got a job. This is great. And then he goes, it's called flu camp. Oh, hold on. <laughs> you get paid a thousand pounds to go away for a week. Um, you're not allowed to contact people. More than that. And you get injected three grand. Three grand. Mm -hmm. It oh, wasn't a week then. Oh, my two, housemate two, two did weeks. it. You get injected with an illness. Yeah. And then they... they're testing the different strains. And so they inject <laughs> you with it. And then they see, they keep you in kind of quarantine. For about, I think it ranges somewhere like a week, or no, yeah, somewhere varies. like 10 days, yeah. somewhere like four weeks, whatever. The one I was looking at was, I think, two weeks for three grand. And me and my friend were like, we have found the golden ticket to no! life. There is no need to lift a finger, get a job, oh do anything. God. I just need to keep getting the flu recurringly and I will be set for life. My I'll best be friend did this. Line. He did really? it. It was a three week one and I think they paid like eight or nine grand. Really? And it was it was at nine. the end of lockdown where like in his industry there was no jobs anyway. So he was like, Great, I just take my laptop, play games yeah. for three weeks in a hospital. But and like there was like twenty people, some got injected with it, some got injected with like a lesser placebo. variant. Get some didn't get injected with anything. But you don't know. But you got no idea. And I have a lot of luck in life. You know, I met you. Um, so I, I mean, thought I'd just get the placebo and then I'd just be playing like Call of Duty or like watching <laughs> Housewives. I mean, Amazing. Yeah. honestly, respect. If you are out there and you know, you're, you've got a good immune system and you fancy a quick <laughs> cheap book, go for it. Did I want, cheap book. did I want my boyfriend who I just met and was madly in love with <laughs> to go off I, <laughs> and sign a, wa sign a waiver that literally said mental. there is a chance you could die. Um, but you know, that's, that's fine. Mm. You feel like that? I was not too keen on that. And I heavily suggested that that was not a great route also, to take. Also, you, you and I know my immune system is made of paper mache. It's like yeah. fucking shit, isn't it? It's mm. so bad. I get ill all the time. So the fact I actually thought you I'd have be able died. to die. I fully would have died. You would have died. But then maybe you would have got like a, a payout. No, you signed the insurance. waiver to say, yeah, what, what payout were I getting? What insurance risk plan death. do you have, sir? I know my parents You're going to bloody please. flu camp. You're hardly going to have the best insurance Well, I was plan. watching. I was deep in it. I was watching people's vlogs of their experience. Not a Some flu guy camp was vlog. showing his a view out the room. But it's like really serious that like you cannot leave at all. Yeah. It's like really regimented. And they search you and everything. They so regiment your food intake your food, as well. Yeah, they monitor Water, your food. Water, like everything. Oh it's it's like it's it's big business. But I thought, what's two weeks? I'm just I was wasting probably two weeks of my life just vegetating in bed, not getting up until like five p.m. anyway because I was depressed. I thought I might as well just do it in flu camp. Jesus Christ! Well, I'm glad that I'm you didn't genius. do that. But yeah, that's it's still just on the cards. If we ever can't pay our mortgage payments, then I might just have to go to flu camp. 
Do you know, maybe after this podcast episode, maybe you should take them all I've about. seen, um, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I made a video about this and I did not, I thought it was a very niche thing that only like, you know, the elites of the world knew about, excuse me. Um, but loads of people are commenting like, oh my God, like I did this or my friend did this. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize there was such an appetite for flu. There is. <laughs> I mean, do you know what? It's constantly changing. It's constantly it's evolving. It's a cost of living crisis, guys. New do job opportunity. Go for it. If that's for you, absolutely go for it. I agree. Fair yeah. enough. All right. Fourth question. Who is most likely to incorporate role play in the bedroom? Maisie, you dirty bitch putting these questions most in here. Most likely to incorporate. I don't think that either of us. Right. I mean, th- should three, we just do the three, two, two one? one. Max. Max. I don't, I, I'm not. I'm, but... I'm, I'm a fan of silence. <laughs> No, yeah. you're not. Oh, yeah, I am. Don't what? Tell them. I can't talk oh, about Oh, no, this. well, that's not good. Um, yeah, no, I'm just, I just feel like, I, <laughs> I just feel like it's not really my thing. Like being like a, what would I be? Like an ambulance worker. Velma and Fred. I'm just oh, not, yeah. <laughs> that's quite cool. <laughs> to be fair, I'd be I, Velma. No, but Velma, no, Daphne and I can and lose Fred. my glasses. Daphne was, oh, yeah, Daphne, Daphne and Fred oh, had the sexual Velma, tension. Velma Velma's a Daphne. lesbian, yes. confirmed. Velma and Daphne. Velma and Daphne. Velma and Daphne, Velma and Daphne. Daphne. lesbian oh, lovers. Yeah. Get me a that's red wig. Get me a red wig and like a little, about shaggy and a little purple. Shaggy and Scoopy. <laughs> shaggy and Scoopy. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Anton Deck. Anton Deck. Oh, this is getting so weird now. I don't know you're, what that would be. Th- yeah, you're kind of uh, Next question, <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Sorry, why is everyone in my life calling me? I cannot call Anna now. I'm just declining. Just gonna... It's not mum. They can yeah, work. it's fine. Yeah. Just turn it upside down. Who is most likely... This is going to cause arguments. Oh, God. Who's most likely to propose? Three, two, one. Andrew. Me. I want it to be me, anyway. I mean... You're saying that all demure, like, well, I mean, I've not really put much thought to it, but I kind of want it to be me. Meanwhile, behind closed doors, he's like, if you fucking propose <laughs> to me, I will say no in front of everyone. Like, No, he, I've not said that. I yes, you have. I have you, not. you said to me that if I proposed to you, you would say no. That? Yes, you have God, said I'm that. He's been telling me have that I? you yeah. said that. I feel like yeah. you've embellished. Okay, then if I propose to you, maybe would I have you say said yeah? that. I don't know. Maybe I said What would you drunk. do if I proposed to you? I wouldn't say no. I just like that on the record. You said to me that you said no. You would say no. You did, did say I that say to me. That? I promise you, you did say that. I to must me. have. We must have been like having a um, very passionate conversation about this. I have explained before. I feel like there's a. You've done amazing things for me in my life. Like you've completely changed my life in many Aww. ways. You've enriched my life in many ways and exposed me to opportunities that I would have never imagined that I would have oh. had the chance to have done. Velma. So therefore, I feel like this would be a thing that I could do for you. Like it would be, it's like a gesture that I'd love to do for you. And I want to be the one that has control over that situation, where it is, how it's done, what is said. I want that to be under my control. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That's very cute. Reasoning. That is very like sweet. That, that is yeah. very sweet. But I equally feel the same way about you. I know, but it's always about you, love. So let's just, you know, just <clears throat> But rewind. isn't it literally the opposite though? Isn't me proposing to you making it about doing something Maybe. making it about you well, i don't you. know but 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 you whatever i mean look if you did it for me if you did that i mean it would be amazing i would not say no obviously but i just in my head see it as me proposing internalized to you. homophobia misogynistic <sighs> pig does it have to be internalized uh, homophobia? no no you just want you just i mean I, if, I think that there is an element with gay people where they feel as though they would be emasculated if they got proposed sure. to that definitely would have felt like 100 percent would have been my main reason back in it before you 100 percent. like i would have felt like that was the only reason mm. really like, i would have just felt weird I, I would have felt embarrassed by it but i don't i know maybe there are little trickles of things that like in my head still mm. that is hard to undo and maybe with time or whatever things well, everyone has stuff like everyone that. has that however I feel like at this point, I mean, we are so public in so many ways of our relationship. Like if I was public bothered, indecency, public, public, yeah, public scrutiny, yes, public displays of affection, uh, yeah. which is what we do. Mm-hmm. Like there's videos of us kissing online, whatever, talking about. Is there? <laughs> Well, I've there's seen videos e- of us kissing online well not like just like 10 minute make out sessions what, is, what are you on about there's like pop- a little peck little peck yeah, oh, right, like, okay. that's so funny Passion I don't on. think I've ever seen you guys kiss really come on lay it on me let's make a video now mm. Ooh, that's- for the audio listeners we just got off with each other yeah it was wet yeah carry um, on yeah but my point is there are like yeah like little clips or whatever of us like having a peck or like talking about our love 
all of that stuff. If I was really that bothered by it, I don't think I would be doing this and so public about that. I, would I don't think that you're bothered about it. being in a relationship with me. I no, think I know, that I you would... I know what you're saying. I, yeah. I get you. I think that internally you would feel emasculated by being proposed to. So why do you want to propose to me then? Because I just, I just, for the same reasons that you just laid out, I want to do something nice to you. You could, all the things that you're saying, like, you know, I've, like, you could say, like, I've, like, welcomed you into, like, you know, this space and stuff like that. But I see it as you supported me as I was being welcomed into that space. Do you know what I mean? It's not like I brought you into it. I, when I got into <laughs> this entire industry. You should be a politician. You, I, you're no, the worst. You're the worst. Any, Go on. What did you mean, mean by that then? Go no, on. It's a very diplomatic answer, is all I'm saying. Okay, then. Do you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to keep war. my nice it's things to myself. War. It's not always war. It's fine. You are. You want a war. And no, you know what? Not. By George, you'll get it. By literal George. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, when it happens, it happens. It's really not that deep. Mm -hmm. Anything I've said in the past has been said in jest. Um, and really, ultimately, it would just be a privilege to marry you. Oh, so, I don't really care. That's the right response. Very cute. When it comes to the wedding day, mm. boy, I'm having control over that. You have not got an eye for anything. So I feel like Are I you need... taking the literal piss? Are you taking the literal piss? Huh? I'm not having control no, over I'm my... Just... I... I'm being facetious. I'm just saying, like... Well, no. Felicia, don't be facetious. <laughs> anyway. Jeez, Louise. You better believe. I mean, what I think, again, what, because we align on so many things, I think that we will actually find that planning something like a yeah, wedding... We'll be, we're not we even in, proposed. We're not even engaged. Like, Why are we, we talking about getting a proposal? About? Well, Everyone's going to get... Yeah, I'm everyone. freaked out. Some people will be getting excited about this. My mum will be there like... <gasps> yeah. <laughs> but let's do dog first and we'll do dog about the first, future later. Golden carriage next. <laughs> Baby and then marriage. Well, the, the truth is <laughs> all my friends are getting married or are married or whatever in yeah. that process right now because I've got a couple years on Max. Mm. So it feels two, like Only two a, years, by the way. That yeah, sounded years, quite yeah, a lot. And, and it's not nonsense vibes. Yeah. But it seems to be such a pre prevalent um, conversation, even in our personal lives right now. Mm. So I feel like I'm thinking about it a lot just because everyone's like, when is it happening? Yeah. Um, but, you know, we're only enjoy... been together for three and a half, which I guess is quite a long time. We've only had the house for not even a year. Like, yeah. I, I, we said beforehand, enjoy the house. Yeah. And then we'll just see. Yeah. Enjoy the enjoy the house. What we no didn't spoilers. realize when we said that we wanted to enjoy the house is that we would be enjoying it with 10,000 ants. Ants. Yeah. Um, we've got ants. We've had a uh, leak. Yeah. We had, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Game. Oh, well. Right. Okay. Well, do you know what, Andrew? Enough yappy, yappy, yapping. Um, George isn't here. Someone's got to take control of the hotline. Let's do our job. Yes. Let's do it. Let's right. commence. Have you had an email by any chance? Oh, my God. Matt? Yeah. Andrew, can you please just send that to the printer? Thank you, sir. That was excellent typing. Hi, Max Fitty and George Queef. <laughs> me. George Queef, how did they know I was coming on I today? don't know. Um, from Anonymous Fan. I am a 16-year-old girl from Norway. I need some advice. I often have dirty or controversial humour. This year, I started at a new school. My friend at school exploded... My friend at school explode or fall on the ground of laughter... If I say the word penis. <laughs> oh, clearly I do too. That's so Norwegian. <laughs> that is so cute. My friend at school explode or fall on the ground of laughter if I say the word penis. That's Aww. so great. So it's difficult to joke with them. What should I do if they cannot only laugh but responds to? I have no idea what this means. <laughs> By the way, I have friends I can joke with like that, but they just don't go to my school. I don't know what this means. Wait, can you pass it here? I promise I don't you, think you're not going to be able to read. interpret it any better. Oh, that was, was quite that good. Amazing? I know, that was good. Hi, Max Fitty and George Queef from Anonymous <laughs> Fan. I am, an, I am a 16-year-old girl from Norway. I need some advice. I often have dirty or controversial humour. This year, I started at a new school. My friend at school explode, explode or fall on the ground of laughter if I say <laughs> the words penis. <laughs> so it's difficult to joke with them. What should I do so they can not only laugh but respond to? By the way, I have friends I can joke with like that, but they don't go to my school. Yeah, I have no fucking. I idea. don't know what this means. I actually don't know I, what this end, means. I'm, I'm fully with her until we get to the last yeah. sentence. I mean, what listen, I, anonymous fan so from Norway. Can... Google Translate sometimes is not the best. Okay. 
I think that no, she didn't Google Translate. I doubt this. it because she listens to the podcast. Oh yeah, of course. Is this the one that came that was from Norway? Didn't someone no, from Norway? I don't think no from Sweden. Oh, people yeah. came from Sweden. Big up our fans from Sweden, big by the way. Sweden. That came from Sweden. Big up Abba. Big up IKEA. Um, yeah, we don't really have any advice here because we don't understand the question. But this is a great opportunity to say, guys, please send in some amazing questions to the use of hotline podcast at gmail.com. You can also send audio files for voice notes that will be played out of our lovely telephones and start with a good punch to it. Maybe even, you know, some fun jokey bits. Keep it short, keep it snappy, keep it concise. We're coming in season two and we would love some really good dilemmas going forward. That is a great one. It made us laugh, but we don't know what you're saying, so we can't give you any advice. But we love you a lot and thank you very much for listening. <laughs> thank you all the so way much. Norway. What was their name? Did we get their name? Anonymous fan Norwegian from Norway. Norwegian woman. Yes, we love you. thank you, Norway. Queen of love Norway. You, Norway. Um, well, Andrew... Thank you very much for joining. Thank you for having me. It's been an honour. It's been an honour. Um, we'll sort out that therapist for when we get home. Yes. Um, and apologies if I seem moody at the beginning. Uh, I had an intense migraine going oh. on in my head. Bless, so, it's um, okay. You, you're, I hope I seem a bit cheerier now. You're very cheery. Subsided, so. You're very cheery. And um, I'd love to come worry. back at another point. If we'll I'm welcome, see about that. We'll see about that. We'll see. Um, no, thank you very much for coming on. Love you lots. Love you too. And Let's start um, our own podcast. Let's dethrone this one. Are you freaking joking? Just I don't think our relationship would make it through 